Hi everyone, my name is Samuel. I'm from the Soil and Water Conservation Bureau, Taiwan. Today I'm going to share you the nationwide decision support system for the debris flow disaster management in our country. So this slide shows the tropical cyclone frequencies. As you can see, the dark red represents the high frequency of the tropical cyclone, we call typhoons. So Taiwan is here. As you can see that uh, we are in the uh, high frequency zones. And so every year we have a lot of tropical cyclone, typhoons, which brings a lot of torrential rains, cause a lot of landslides and debris flows. And here are some pictures and the video about the debris flow disasters caused by different typhoon events in our history. As you can see from the typhoon herb, which caused the debris flows in central part of Taiwan in 1996. And after the video was televised to the public, people in our country are aware of the severity of debris flow disasters. So before I introduce you, uh, uh, the system, I would like to share some framework how we deal with the debris flows. Usually when we are doing the hazard assessment, we have to ask ourselves three questions. Where, when, and how big? So if we want to deal with the debris flow disasters, so where are the debris flows? So according to the previous investigation, about 20 years, we have more than 1,700, we call potential debris flow creeks, means those creeks are prone to debris flow disasters, and each creek has the downstream affected fan-shaped areas. So people usually live in those downstream areas, so uh, the residents there are our protected targets. So traditionally, we use a lot of engineering constructions to prevent it from happening, but they will cost a lot of time and money. So recently, uh, the government just turned to some uh, software measures uh, like the land use restrictions and relocation of, of the local people, but they will uh, complain about that. Sometimes they, they are even will protest against those two measures. So, uh, so far, the only way for the government can do is to evacuate people during the emergency. So if we want to evacuate people, uh, we have to have a reliable early warning system, which is usually based on the rainfall criteria in different places. So uh, the system we call is the debris flow disaster management and information system. Uh, the system can be divided into two parts. The first part is internal system. Uh, usually, uh, the engineer, uh, government official, and specialist will use it. It includes three parts of our uh, disaster procedure, uh, in, uh, like the preparedness, emergency response, and post-disaster service. Those information we use it. Uh, to do the emergency uh, treatment uh, during typhoon comes. Uh, for the other part is external website. Uh, uh, those useful information for the public is just upload to the website, to the public. Uh, not only the website, we also use the apps, Facebook, also the Google Earth uh, platform. So the first important uh, things is that we have to identify the so-called potential debris flow creeks. So uh, to identify those creeks, we have to consider two indexes. The first one, the left-hand side, is the occurrence degree, like the hydrological and geological conditions, the watershed areas, uh, the landslide ratios, the drainage slope, etc. The other index is the protected targets. 
which means uh, those people houses in the downstream affected fan areas including some other uh, infrastructures so after identification we are easy to use this uh, risk matrix uh, try to divide it those potential debris flow creeks into different uh, three levels high medium and low which are very important for us to distribute our budget so this uh, slide shows the front page of our external system so the public is easy to inquiry the potential debris flow creeks the rainfall criteria of their, of their village and evacuation map they are going to use during the emergency they also will search for uh, those debris flow knowledge debris flow monitoring uh, uh, information and the real-time rainfall information for them to use and from the external website uh, people it's easy to use it to search for the evacuation route maps through the system and most important is about the, the potential debris flow creek locations and they got some shelter information so during the emergency they just follow the moving directions to the safe shelters and the most important things of our uh, system is the early warning system uh, the world early warning system based on the localized rainfall based uh, warning models the models contains two uh, indexes uh, we call rainfall intensity as well as the effective accumulated rainfall we cross them as the rainfall triggering index the rainfall triggering index uh, we draw on the map and uh, using the statistic analysis and uh, choose the 70 probability line as the critical line as you can see the dotted line is the 70 probability line and the, the line we use it also choose uh, rainfall intensity as 10 and got the rainfall uh, effective accumulated rainfall RC RC is our criteria which with uh, differ from 250 millimeter to 650 millimeter with uh, 50 millimeter as an interval so different places has different uh, uh, RC so uh, two stages of our warnings if necessary say that in certain area the rainfall criteria is 300 millimeters if the predict rainfall is over the threshold 300 millimeters then we issue the yellow warning for persuasive evacuation so if the real rainfall is over the threshold then we issue the red warning for mandatory evacuation so during the emergency when typhoon comes in soil and water conservation bureau we just assemble an emergency operation task force people get together in this room uh, we just monitor uh, 24 hours a day uh, seven days a week as long as the typhoon is here then we uh, just issue the warning if necessary through our system to do the simulation and then um, uh, try to persuade the local uh, governments uh, to do the evacuation activities so the left hand side shows our external website um, when the yellow and red warnings are issued to the public in order to make our rainfall based model more accurate so we spend more than uh, 20 years to do the on-site debris flow monitoring to catch to detect those mechanism of the debris flows uh, in the field so so far we have 21 fixed station uh, three mobile station and 17 grid station which can carry it on our back all those information are transmitted through the satellite uh, to our uh, headquarters and then displayed through our uh, system 
here you can see that different on-site uh, monitoring sensors like the cameras, geophones, rain gauges, and, and wire sensors, etc. And uh, now I'll give you an example about the real-time online debris flow observation data which occurred in 2014 in central part of Taiwan. Uh, from the video, you can see that the debris flow is calm, uh, it contains big boulders inside, and will hit the channel bed, gen generate uh, some kind of the elastic waves, like, like the uh, seismic waves, which can be detected by the left hand side, the geophones, as well as the seismometers. Then we know the occurrence of the debris flow uh, signals. Also, usually after the disasters, uh, we will uh, dispatch the specialist uh, to do some investigations using the main aerial vehicles, using the uh, remote sensing satellite image analysis technologies uh, to do uh, the event report. So those kind of event report just uh, upload on the website for the future um, investigation, for the future uh, research, uh, which help a lot. Also on the external website, we put a lot of information about disaster prevention knowledge, about the education videos, and we also invented some parent-children interactive website uh, for the children to play games and learn a lot of uh, disaster prevention knowledge. And uh, among them, the most popular one is the online monopoly game for the debris flow disaster prevention. And uh, not only for the website, we invented some free apps for the debris flow disaster preventions for the iOS and Android system both. Uh, because our smartphone has the uh, location function, so in the field, we just open our smartphones, located our uh, place, then we will know the nearby potential debris flow creeks, like the blue lines. If the government issue the warnings, uh, the blue line of the creek will turn red or yellows, like this one, and um, the nearby uh, green dots shows uh, the location of shelters. So the system will calculate uh, the distance between you and the shelters automatically. So this is a very good guide for you to uh, go to the shelters if necessary. Uh, we all know that Google company is the biggest uh, search engine company in the world. They got a group of people called Google Crisis Response so um, the government of Taiwan just worked with the Google companies and invented the Taiwan Disaster Prevention Map. Includes all kinds of information about disasters, including the weather information, the debris flows, the tr transportation, the floods, etc. So uh, we would like to use this kind of disaster prevention map to make the critical information more accessible. Uh, during the emergency. So um, here are some statistics. Uh, the number of casualties and wounded by debris flow versus the number of typhoons. And we can see that the red line represents uh, uh, that uh, the number uh, of the casualties and wounded by debris flows uh, just decreased a lot since uh, we de deploy those debris flow disaster prevention system uh, uh, and put it into practice uh, in 2004. So uh, it is proved that this kind of mechanism uh, is effective to save lives. So last year uh, we joined, uh, attend those geospatial world forum 2019 in Netherlands and we use uh, this topic intelligent disaster prevention and decision-making network for debris flows 
and we won the Geospatial World Excellence Awards. So this is only country uh, won uh, the awards in the disaster prevention aspects. So we would like to share this honor with you and also uh, we would like to say that uh, to share our experiences about disaster prevention with other countries uh, we do hope that in the future we could work together uh, to, to, to do the disaster mitigation, hazard mitigation works together and uh, try to save uh, the lives uh, of our people together. Um, hope we can do that uh, in the near future. Thank you very much.